Hi, Mark Heath here, and in this video, we're going to have a look at a few more link extension methods to do with windowing. And as my example data here, I've actually got um, some times. Maybe these are times that it took us to um, run 200 meters or something like that. And basically, what I want to do is to see what my running average is. So what was my average over the first three? Then what was my average over the next three? What was my average over the next three? And so on. And window is the method that will allow us to do this. So if I just window this data with a window size of three, you can see we get the first three. But then we get, this is different from batch. Batch would, um, batch would return these three and then return these three. So if we did batches of three, window three returns these three. And then starting from here, it gives us these three. So it's a sliding window that moves along one each time. And so you can see we in our first window, we get 20.5 to 21.3. And we look at the final window ends um, here like this. And the advantage of this is that then I could do something like use an average to work out what the average across each of those three day windows is. So if I run that and have a look at these averages, we can see um, the averages and the, the fastest window was actually the um, fourth window. So that was kind of my best three day streak if these were times of, of a run or something like that. There are also two additional methods called window left and window right. So let's have a quick look at see what they do. Um, window left basically it starts off in exactly the same way. So it starts here, gives me three items, then three more, then so on. But when it gets to here, it doesn't stop. It then does another one with only two items and a final one with only one item. So we get a window for every single, um, starting with every single element. And so if we look here, you'll see at the end of this window left, there is a list with only two items and a list with only one item. Um, what about window right? Well, window right um, kind of operates the other way. Um, you can kind of think of it that it gives us a first window of like missing, missing, and then this value, and then the next window is missing this window, this one, and then keeps going until the last element in the series is on is on the right. So we get a one element series, then a two element series, and so on. And these windowing methods are often used with um, sequences of numbers as they're good for these kind of mathematical operations.